Twain said, I am an old man and I have known a great many troubles, but most of them never happened. I would venture to say that something in the neighborhood of 90% of our troubles never come to pass. And that, in and of itself, is a little trouble. Those troubles are worries, and these worries are controlling us. They're making us sick, they're making us ill, and they're even eroding at our very relationships, and our productivity, and our ability to be effective in every area of our life. So the trick is to begin to allow those worries to settle to the bottom of the river of our mind, like sediment in water. As we do, we create clarity, clarity of thought, clarity of heart, clarity of vision. And from there, we can change direction. Like a magical skip of a stone on water. We worry as if worry had some kind of magical power. That if we worry just enough, why, it might fix everything, poof! <laughs> and yet the opposite is the truth. The, the opposite more is the truth. we worry, the more power and energy we give to that which we are worried about. The more we're actually supporting that which we do not wish to pass. It's like suddenly we become part of the campaign for that which we're worried about. It's biggest supporter. <laughs> Worrying is like praying for something you don't want. What if tomorrow I get fired? What if tomorrow I don't get fired? What if I just fail and I can't afford my daily Starbucks decaf latte with foam? Or what if I'm so successful everyone wants my money and I don't know who my friends are? What if it snows tomorrow and I don't have studs? What if I do have studs and it doesn't snow tomorrow? Ah! Please, God. Please. If there's a God in heaven above, please just make all my deepest, most narcissistic worries come true. Then I could stop worrying about them. <laughs>